My name's Stephen Charlton and I'm Professor of Molecular Pharmacology and Drug Discovery at the University of Nottingham. I've got over 16 years of drug discovery experience, um, most notably working for Novartis where I was the Director of Molecular Pharmacology for the Respiratory Disease Area. So in addition to my university role, I also co-founded and am Chief Scientific Officer of Accelerate Bioscience. So Accelerate is a dynamic and creative uh, CRO that offers specialist uh, and high quality molecular and cellular pharmacology solutions to the biotech and pharmaceutical industry. We offer a wide range of services, uh, from bespoke assay design to look at compound activity and mechanism of action, all the way through to phenotypic assays uh, in primary human cell systems. So the Ferristar really is the workhorse of our lab. It has uh, great flexibility and allows us to use multiple detection formats in our assays that we run. Um, in particular, we've had um, a lot of experience in developing a reputation in building kinetic assays um, at membrane proteins and also looking at protein-protein interactions. Now, for those assays, we prefer to use time-resolved FRET, which is um, an application that the Ferristar is particularly good at. So developing kinetic binding assays can be quite complex, and we have a number of key requirements that we need in a plate reader to deliver assays of that sort. The first key requirement we'll look at is the read frequency that the reader can achieve. So it's no surprise that uh, the more measurements that you can have on the early part of your time course, the better the accuracy and reproducibility of the mathematical fit to your data. The Ferristar not only has an extremely sensitive detection system, it also has an onboard laser. And that allows us to achieve really good signal to noise ratios with often just a single flash of that laser. Now that can give us very dramatic time savings when compared to normal lamp excitation systems and can allow us to get far more time points on each of those progress curves. Another element that we've become very aware of is that temperature can affect the kinetic parameters in an unpredictable way. So if we really want to get translatable numbers and values that can be used to uh, do PK, PD modeling in the future, we really need to be able to run our kinetics assays at 37 degrees. And the onboard temperature control on the Ferristar is critical to do that, and an important factor of this. There can be a limit of detection with the particular type of competition association assay that we're using, and that often means that we prefer to use tracer ligands with rapid equilibration kinetics. The problem with using those is that the binding event can actually be over and done within the first few seconds, and that means that we need an onboard injector system to be able to inject reagent and read immediately. Now, to my knowledge, the Ferristar is the only machine in its class that allows us to simultaneously add reagent and read, which means that we can capture information right from that very early time point and gives us a better fit in our data. Now, there's no doubt that without that onboard injector system, we wouldn't be able to do the fragment-based screening that we're experimenting with on the dopamine D2 receptor. So in addition to the excellent hardware, um, kinetics assays can be complex to schedule. So what's been new and introduced with the Ferrist RFSX is the ability to batch together runs so that if we want to run um, particular quadrants of the plate, rather than going back and setting that up each time we run a different quadrant, the software allows us to batch the whole thing together so we can add the plate and simply walk away and let it run the whole thing together. And that frees up an enormous amount of time for our scientists. If you'd like to find out more about how we design and develop these kinetics assays and particularly how we integrate the Ferristar in our lab, then please don't hesitate to contact us. You can email at info at or visit the Accelerate Biosciences website.